Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for all the new subscribers. You are greatly appreciated and I'm really enjoying all the um, messages that I'm getting off you guys that you're enjoying my video. So, thank you. Today I wanted to do a video about what it cost me to build this van. And I've actually wanted to do it for a while because I've had so many people ask me like, you know, like what did that cost and what did this cost? And if you've followed my journey, you will know that I um, tried to put as much of what it cost me in the actual video as I was actually in the process of getting everything done. So um, for this is just going to be a breakdown of everything that it cost me because I had a budget of $14,000. And a lot of people thought I wouldn't be able to keep within that budget. But um, let's go through the expenses, shall we? So first off, um, the van is a Mercedes Sprinter 2005 model, medium wheelbase. It's a manual diesel, which is what exactly what I was looking for. A friend of mine actually spotted this on the side of the road and it had a sign on it out the front of a, a business and he rang me and he said I've already had a look at it if you don't want it I'm thinking about buying it so I rushed down there had a look at it took it for a drive found some things out about the car it had 142,000 kilometers on the motor and it was a recon motor and it had been sitting in a shed for some time so I, that was a little bit troublesome to me but the motor and everything sounded really good so i put in an offer and we negotiated and they let me have this van for five thousand five hundred dollars so it's a little bug like <laughs> trying to get my mouth um for those that know Mercedes Sprinters, like that's that's a really really great deal, and I was willing to pay up to like eight to ten thousand dollars for a car. So when this one came about, I just I had to take it. Like and compared to my last van where I couldn't stand, and this one I can stand, it has made a huge amount of difference to everything that I do. So let's go through expenses so I literally kept all of my receipts and I tallied them up and I've checked them through three times and I'm somewhat impressed and somewhat a little bit shocked in um, some areas that I spent money but let's go through it so the vehicle was five thousand five hundred dollars I ended up getting some new plates for the vehicle because the other plates were smudged and I know you can actually get a fine for that if your plates are unreadable so that was twenty eight dollars and sixty cents and then uh, to transfer the vehicle into my name out of the company's name was a hundred and sixty nine dollars and sixty five cents so altogether, I had spent $5,698.25. So yeah, that wasn't, that was actually really cheap and it was a lot cheaper than what I thought. The biggest expense that kind of like shocked me was Bunnings. Like at Bunnings, all the wood is basically from Bunnings. The walls, the um, insulation, uh, the roof, um, all the screws, everything. That was all from Bunnings. And I did actually buy a heat gun, a new saw. I think that's all. So that was all contributed into the price at Bunnings. And I spent $1,000. $732.18 at Bunnings for this van. I was really shocked when, when I calculated that and I checked it that many times, but it's, it's correct. But I suppose when you think about everything that's behind the walls and that in here, like, I okay, like, you can kind of see it, but you kind of can't 
so I know what's behind the walls but if you came in here and I said that's what it cost you would probably maybe question it <laughs> I don't know but yeah that was my biggest expense so with that I had spent so far seven thousand four hundred and thirty dollars and forty three cents the kitchen it was really important to me to have um, some drawers and some big cupboards so um, I had already spotted the cupboards and everything at Ikea and they were actually like this was really cheap that was like $350 but um, I also bought the bed and I've got a video on that if you wanted to check that out um, the so with the bed the kitchen and the bedding the towels like things like that like I bought all new stuff because I'd actually given all my other stuff with the other van to the other people so with that um, I spent six hundred and forty five dollars and eighty nine cents and that was at Ikea then the bed mattress that was a bigger expense too but honestly you have to spend the money on a mattress because you have to make sure that you've got a really good mattress when I first started van life, I had like a cheap Clark rubber mattress, just the normal foam. It killed me. I was in so much agony every morning when I woke up, my hips and my lower back, and I couldn't quite figure it out. And then I thought maybe I need to change the mattress. So I went back to Clark rubber and they recommended the memory foam mattress. I've never looked back. In the other van, I changed to a memory foam mattress and in this van, I got a memory foam mattress and I haven't had a problem with it my back I've never had another ache or pain in that area again so I'm really happy with that and they actually cut it to size for you so if you measure how how wide and that you want it they'll actually cut it down for you so the mattress was five hundred and thirty eight dollars and ninety five cents but that also included I got a bamboo waterproofing um, cover because I'm a little bit clumsy and coffee ends up in my bed more times than I would care to um, admit. <laughs> so altogether, um, so far, I've spent um, $8,615.25. Um, the soundproofing, I didn't soundproof my first van and after watching a few more videos, I thought with this one I definitely want to. And I bought the soundproofing off of eBay and it was a roll of 8 meters, I think it was. And I've got a video on that as well. That actually covered a lot of the van. And I actually think it contributes to keeping the heat out because this van doesn't get really, you know, it has to be like over 35 degrees for it to get way too hot for me to be in here so that was only $119 and that was eBay and it even comes with cutters and you can just cut it with normal scissors and that anyway so that was um, a really a really cheap um, thing to help with the heat and the sound um, at night when I close everything off and I always have my fan running on low even when it's cold and I really don't hear much outside like it's it's pretty pretty good like I'm very impressed with it so up to date I've spent eight thousand seven hundred and thirty four dollars and twenty five cents so it's, it's climbing up there <laughs> the little sunroof I got at the back um, I just picked that up from a caravan place in Manindra and that was like ninety four dollars and ninety five cents I'm actually going to put something else at this end as well, but I think this one I'm going to have it with a fan. Um, and then down the track, what I might do if I get the money together, I might actually put like a proper 12 volt air conditioner in. Maybe. I don't know yet, but I'm definitely going to put a fan in for this summertime. Um, although I feel like I've got enough, I've actually got three fans in here. I just want the air to go like this at night especially when I'm all locked up because I never ever leave my door open so yeah that was $94.95 and there is a video on that I did get help from my stepdad putting that in I was I had such bad anxiety that day putting holes in the roof but 
once it was like once we started the holes it was like no problem whatsoever and when I put the solar and stuff on I just I just did it like I wasn't worried about putting a hole in the roof after that so yeah that was um, a, a very small expense the solar I was really impressed with the price so the solar panel is a 200 watt X house panel so that's why it is quite large on my roof and that um, all together with the solar controller and that was $249 um, now Alt Techs in Alt Techs in Welshpool, they helped me with that. Now they just ask you questions like, "What do you want?" and "What kind of vehicle you got?" Is it carrier? Blah blah blah. They put all the wiring and that together for me, and basically I just had to put it all in and connect it all to the to the solar controller, and then onto the battery. And that, like, once I got my head around it, it was so easy. And now when I meet people who still don't have solar, I'm like, you've definitely got to get solar. So, you know, $249 for my solar and definitely well worth getting it done and putting it on the roof. I don't run out of power any time now. And I've actually got that much excess power. I'm going to get an electric toaster, an electric kettle. Because I just have a lot of leftover power that I'm just not using so yeah that'll be better than using gas all the time because gas kind of heats up in here so I get that going with all my cover or something um spotlight I spent on some really good quality curtains I don't know if you can see that but these they're so thick and heavy these were like a hundred just over a hundred dollars each uh, for a pair um, and I got the black on one side rather than the like the plasticky um, sunblock thing I find that these ones are really nice and um, I definitely recommend blocking off your front cab to your back cab because the heat off your window and that is massive and I think it's probably 10 to 15 degrees hotter in there than what it is like in here when I've got it all closed up so definitely blocking that out was a good thing and then I uh, I got the material, the black material, um, also on the magnets and that for the back curtains and stuff. And that was $178.20 I spent there. So, so far with those other three purchases, I've come to $9,257.40. It did take me a little while just ringing around all the carpet places to see who had off carts or remnants of um, vinyl because a lot of them won't sell you like under like two three meters or whatever they want you to you know they have a thing like it's a minimum of 10 meters so I found a place in Mandra I think it's called Mandra carpets and vinyl they actually had some really good remnants left there and I picked up the flooring for $152. This is perfect, like it's so easy to keep clean and when I had Tonka when he was still, um, when I was still puppy training him, you know, he would have accidents on here. It was so easy to clean it off and I'm glad I went with this. Like I was going to go with the wood panelling but I've seen so many people end up ripping the wood panelling up because water seeps in the grooves. So I'm very, very happy with this. So $152, that was cheap. And then I had some miscellaneous expenses. So, you know, like the hooks that I hang everything on and stuff like that. So those kind of expenses came to $133.88. So, so far I've spent $9,543.28. The batteries, I've got two 120 amp batteries. Now I actually took them out of my previous van because I'd only just updated the electrical system and the batteries were brand new. I think they're only like six weeks old. So I actually took them out 
so they I did have them in here but everything else is new um, oh, and I took the fan out of there too because that's like a $300 fan I've got sitting at the back there um, and that all the wiring and stuff so that came to $583 so I, even though I've got the solar on the roof, I actually had the cable run underneath the back so I can still put um, my flexi panels out. So say if I'm parked in the shade and my solar panel is under the shade, I can still connect my external um, flexi panels to the back and put them in the sun somewhere. So. I do recommend that it was a little bit expensive because the cording had to be like a lot heavier and that you know so it doesn't get damaged and stuff but you know I don't use it very often but it, it has come in handy when I've been parked under trees although you know the weather's not the best and you can run both solars kind of thing so that was the yeah, expense and so far that comes to $10,126.28. I'm really glad I wrote really big on here because I, I wear glasses and I can't read this, but I did actually rewrite it last night, re-scribbled it, like if you could read my scribble, um, and made it all bigger so I wouldn't have to wear my glasses when I did this video. <laughs> So I did actually make another video on this, but I had my glass on the reflective. Uh, like the sun was reflecting on it, it just looked stupid, so yeah, too much information, right? Um, so when I got the vehicle, the vehicle had actually sat and hadn't done a lot of work for quite some time. So I put it into my mechanic in Mandra. MKT and they um, did like a full service um, drop the oil drop the coolant and all that kind of stuff and that was a pretty big service but it was $1,319.37 so that you know was a bit bigger expense I suppose I had to get two new tires because two of them were a little bit not great but that only came to $284 and I also got a wheel alignment for $69. The cabin aircon was not blowing air very well and you know would sometimes get stuck and um, the air wasn't coming through. So I ended up replacing that because I thought if I'm driving around up north I don't want to be left without aircon. So that was $560. That was a little bit expensive, but it was a job that I couldn't do. So I had to get the auto electrician to do that. And I think that's why it was so expensive because I'm pretty sure the, the blower is like $250, $300 or something. But anyway, had to be done. So I got that done. So, so far I had spent $12,358.65. So I'm still under budget. The next thing I did was, um, with my heat gun, I took all the stickers off. It literally took me two days, one side one day, one side the next day, and I couldn't like move these fingers like from picking off the stickers. But it was actually a lot easier than what I thought it was. So, you know, if you've got stickers, just buy, I think it was a $40 heat gun from Bunnings and that worked a treat and I made sure that it was a beautiful blue sunny hot day and when I was doing it and it just came off quite quite easily so that was something that I wanted to do and I had a bit of rust in the around the windscreen and I didn't want that to cause too much of a problem later on down the track so I went to um, a panel beater and that was a bit of a big expense um, there was quite a lot of rust in the front that had to come out so they took the windscreen out and they bogged up all the rust and they actually did some more around the van and then they buffed all the van that was two thousand dollars so that was, an that was because I had money in the bank to actually spend on the vehicle and because like the vehicle had only like really cost me, you know, 
ten and a half thousand to do it into a home. I was quite impressed and had some excess money that I could spend on it. So doing the buffing was just a cosmetic thing, like it's not something that I would need to have gotten done. But I'm glad I got it done because now I feel good that you know the rust the rust is out of the van. So all together just went over budget just by a little bit but it came to fourteen thousand three hundred and eight dollars and sixty five cents so I used to pay three hundred dollars a week rent already I've saved twenty thousand dollars just by not paying rent I don't have to work as hard at the moment it's difficult because I'm starting a new business and just trying to get that going and the sales up on that and I'm trying to build a website and things like that. So like it's given me the opportunity to do that and my biggest expense I suppose is gas which I'm going to start documenting like what my expenses will be for a month just to give you an idea of what I pay within a month. Um, there's people walking over there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Nosy. <laughs> like to know what's going on around me. So yeah, $14,308.65. That's what it cost me to build this van. So if you're thinking of um, building a van, like you don't have to be extravagant. You just do within your budget. If I didn't have the money to like put the kitchen and stuff in straight away, I would have literally just put the mattress in and some containers with my stuff in it and just coped with that until I could get it done. You don't have to spend $40,000 on a van or, you know, just go within your budget. If this is really the lifestyle that you want, then do it. You would be really surprised. On what you can do yourself and I've had the best time these last like what has it been uh, we're in September 13 months I've had so much fun I have met so many people and I keep meeting the same people in different locations and this is the best life decision I've ever done for me for me it may not be for everybody, but for me, I love it. So I hope this gives you a bit of an insight and inspires you to hopefully one day buy your own van. And maybe I'll see you on the road. Be safe, everybody.